hello guys welcome to the web technology lab videos so today we will learn about the installation of apache php mysql and php myadmin so first we will start with the apache so just type sudo apt dash gate install apache2 and then press enter and enter the root password so then it will ask for the permission type y so this will download apache web server from ubuntu server so this this, this these four softwares are the pillars, pillars of lamp stack so it is useful for assignment number four where we are going to uh, run php application so that is important here so now apache 2 uh, apache web server has been installed successfully now how to check whether your apache 2 has been installed successfully or not just go to your firefox browser and type localhost here so we'll get this page if you get this page you can uh, decide you can decide that or you can uh, consider that 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 is you can confirm that the apache web server has been installed successfully now the apache web server has been installed successfully on my machine so that it is showing is displaying this web page so this is giving the instructions that where to store your web pages so this is the path of apache web server that is slash where slash www slash html so in this html directory you can store your web pages whenever you want to access it from other machines or from clients so now we'll go for the next software that is php so type sudo apt dash gate install php then the supporting packages are required that is php cgi php dash cgi then lib apache 2 dash mod dash php this is again a supporting uh, package then php dash common then php dash pr space php dash md string so this command you have to type when you want to install php and press install by enter button then s so it is installing php 7.0 that is the latest version of php so it is downloading from ubuntu server okay now you can check by typing man command man and then php and you can check whether your php has been installed or not so now it is showing the manual so it says it says that my php has been installed successfully now go back and now we'll install the mysql server that is very important for us because we want to use mysql database in our application in php application so type sudo apt dash gate you can use apt command also in uh, ubuntu 16.04 also so apt dash gate install mysql dash server press enter yes so it is downloading mysql server from ubuntu server so it is you can see that it is it is installing mysql client also okay now it is asking for the root user password because root is the default user of mysql so here you have to type your root user password so i am typing root user password and repeat password okay
okay now the mysql database has been successfully installed now you can check with the help of man command whether your mysql has been installed or not now it is installed successfully okay now how to access your mysql database just type mysql and then press enter okay but this will tell you that access denied for user demo at the, at the right local host so you have to type your mysql command this way that is mysql dash u you have to provide your root, root, uh, username that is the root and then it is having a password that does so that dash p option you have to provide here press enter and it is ask it will ask for the password type your root user password now it will uh, show the mysql console mysql command line so here in this mysql command line you have to type your query and uh, and with the help of uh, uh, sql queries you can create your database you, you can create your table you can insert the data in, into the table and you can delete drop everything you can do with the help of uh, your sql statements sql queries and that you can type here okay so i will i will get out this uh, mysql command line so type exit to exit this mysql uh, database uh, mysql client uh, mysql command line press enter so now we have to it is very difficult task for or it is very difficult for beginners to uh, handle the mysql command line because it, it works on only command so if you forget any command you cannot do anything in that mysql command line so for the beginners it is very ha hard to remember all the uh, queries uh, initially so to create database to create tables there is a web tool there is a, again another software that you can use that that will provide you the gui facility of mysql database so that software is php myadmin so how to install php admin my admin I, uh, I will tell you here so type sudo apt-gate install type php my admin and press enter yes So it is downloading php my admin from ubuntu server okay so now it is asking for the uh, web server so we are having apache 2 web server installed so i'll choose my apache 2 web server here so just press space bar here space button so it will choose the apache 2 and then press tab button and then press enter button okay so here it is asking for whether you want to create a database separate database for, for php my admin or not but here you have to choose no because uh, we don't want to use uh, or create data, other database or configure database for B, php my admin already we have installed our mysql uh, server here so we'll use the mysql server database okay it's uh, username and password we will use here so choose no here okay now here how to check whether your php my admin installed or not just go to your browser okay so we are type php my admin and press enter okay now your php my admin has been successfully installed you can you'll get this login screen here so you have to type your your username that is root your mysql server username and password you, you can use here so type root username and the password you have to use so password you will use that you have fit there and press enter so this is your php my admin page that you can use for creating your database here you can see that all the databases are shown here so by clicking on this new you can create new database so just uh that that, that will uh, do okay that we, uh, we are going to do in assignment number four so when i will uh, explain the assignment number four that time i will tell you how to create database in php my admin i have to create tables in uh, php my admin so right now we'll conclude our video with with this installation so uh just quickly recap so what we have learned in this video in uh, today in this video that is uh, we have learned how to install apache web server then we have learned how to install php then we have learned how to install mysql server 
and finally we have learned the learned that is how to install php myadmin so hope so you understood uh, whatever i explained here so if you have any uh, doubt if you have any any query you can you can uh, post your comment on youtube and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also like my video share my video and subscribe my channel and share my um, videos also so thank you for watching this video bye bye